progress. This is where we're at. We got that one all framed up and then Tyvek. That was over the past week. So we just got the roof up uh, between yesterday and we did uh, uh, Tyvek today and we did some more uh, plumbing. You know, plumbing the ends, the gable ends on both sides today. Um, I cut off the rebar extending outward on mine and my material is going to be showing up in a week. So that means I'm hoping within two weeks we're going to be putting my walls up. My section here. I need to remove all the material from the back wall here um, so I can have some room because basically I'm going to be up against that, that uh, sheathing on the back of that portion of the garage. So I'm going to take all the trim off and remove the excess shingles. But uh, yeah. Progress. Those are the pieces of his front overhang. Yeah. Let's go check the inside. So here we go. So these are 10 foot walls. And it's 42 by 22, 24 by 24. And you can see right to this guy. So next he's gonna do his overhangs, get the fascia board on the overhang and then start laying the sheathing down. And then hopefully within a week we're doing some roofing, at least. And also now, this is a time change today, it's gonna get darker much sooner. So you can see how the, the corners are framed in. This is just a brace support temporary for the, ga the gable end until we get the sheathing on the roof. So yeah. You got your hurricane ties up there. You got our wall supports in the middle. He's using the, the four stud method for the corner which is a pretty stout corner. I'll probably only use the three. But yeah. Looks good. <clears throat> okay, so we're just checking out the neighbors. So I'm going to, when I drop off material, I'm gonna have them place it into my garage. I gotta move my motorcycle to the shed. Um, and then I can store the material until I get a chance to use it because I don't want it to get water locked. Um, the trusses, I'm not sure how long those are gonna be. I don't think I ever got the notice. I think it was two weeks. I'll have to go back and look and see what the schedule is on that. Because obviously if those come in and they start getting rained down, like these sat here for, I think, three days, I really don't want them sitting outside for too long. You don't really want them to get you know, rained on continuously. For extended period of times, they'll start to warp. And uh, I mean, there's just two by fours. So um, what I'll end up doing is I do sit outside, I'll have to tarp them and get them tarped over. So. All right. Thanks for watching.